Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, obviously the disappointment of not making the last World Championships makes this one a little bit more of, I don't know, the excitement of, of going and, and hopefully competing well and, and obviously coming back off, off London last year, you know, you really feel like hopefully things can continue to go well. For me, I'm, I mean, I'm going to try win two gold medals. Um, if somebody does come along and runs quicker than me, then you know what can you do about that? You just got to focus on yourself and trying to make sure you get your own race right and your preparations have been right. So for me, I'm I'm happy with where I'm at and I'm you know feel I'm in a good place going forward. But you know, without a doubt, my mindset is trying to win two gold medals. It's about for me, continue to try and achieve and achieve and achieve, and you know, the things that have happened and in the past has been fantastic. But um, you know, it's, for me, it's about trying to continue to do that, and, and hopefully, to the day comes that I decide to to quit, that um, you know, I can look back and probably really appreciate it more then. The anniversary games coming up, um, to just over a week's time, so. I obviously would have liked to be there competing. I think the opportunity to be back competing in that Olympic Stadium and you know the the atmosphere and the memories that the whole experience brought back just to me was an opportunity that I really wanted to be involved in and and I, there's probably not much more than that. You know, like unfortunately they're only selected certain events and mine isn't one. Me and Michael are, are get on pretty well and you know anytime we're away. You know, we we always bounce off each other and we keep in quite a lot of contact as well. So I think for me, it's great to have somebody like that that you get on so well with. That is actually in a very much a similar situation as you is gold medals and expecting to win gold medals. And you know we just tend to try and enjoy the experience and have fun with it. And you know it's it it really makes it a more enjoyable experience when you can have people around like that to, to really just enjoy it. Companies that come on board to help, you know, I suppose Paralympics Ireland help the athletes, you know, it's it allows Paralympics Ireland to be able to give us, you know, better opportunities and you know, being able to prepare for championships better. Um, you know, I've, I've seen a massive change from the year after Beijing compared to the year after London and the interest uh, of you know people like Alliance and you know hopefully that can continue to grow and develop um, but I think it's it's very important and it, it probably re it reflects very well on how much part of this sport has moved forward and how it's become very much you know the brands and the marketing involved with it. Uh, my life's been fantastic. Um, you know it's it's great to. Uh, to help, I suppose, what I've always say is I get to experience you know, so many great things um, through my sport and, and you know it's fantastic now to have somebody that I can experience everything with and I find me personally I'm, I'm definitely a lot happier as a person and a lot happier at home and you know once you are a lot happier um, hopefully things, you know, they say everything's supposed to to make better as well so hopefully things can continue to move forward